Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today we're going to be playing nine holes at Windstone Golf Course and this video is going to be focused on what the plans are for the channel coming up this summer. I forgot to plug in my wireless mic again on the first hole so there is no audio. I don't really know how I'm going to show that in this video but we got a par. We hit a really fat second shot but we have 190 yards here into the wind. This is quite the shot. Really long par three. Let's see if we can play, play a little draw into this. Oh, it just didn't turn. Sit, sit. Oh, we just caught a bad break. We barely skipped over the bunker and we went so far right. Uh, channel's just been in an interesting spot for me because I've been posting three shorts a day on YouTube recently. Not recently, over the past four months. So we've been on the grind, but I think I want to start changing that up from three shorts a day to maybe one, if not even skipping a day at this point. We have a tough up and down here. This is a very important up and down though. Need to land this right of the flag and it should break back down towards the hole. Oh, that's too far, I think. It's actually not bad. We have like six feet. So if you haven't kept up with my channel specifically, over the past eight months, I started posting golf content and I really started focusing on shorts. Now, before I end this story, let's go ahead and make us a 10 footer for par. This is a very quick putt. Oh my goodness. Just off the edge there. Tough bogey, but we'll take it. I've mainly been posting on YouTube over the past couple of months, uh, specifically three shorts a day for the past four months. So it's quite the grind. Now, I really love playing these nine hole um, course vlogs and really just trying to build an actual connection with my fans. Cause if you look back at my shorts or me looking back at my shorts that I've made, you don't really build any sort of connection. It's simply just me hitting a shot and you really don't learn too much about myself, how I play or anything like that. I dropped my golf glove, which is unfortunate. So we're gonna try and hit this without a glove. See how this goes. We destroyed that ball, it made it to sit. Oh, we're good, we're in the fairway. Just went flying back all the way to the last hole and that, you have to go across an entire road or two roads actually, just to go get my golf glove. So a little out of breath, ran out of here with a camera and a tripod. Let's see if we can get a nice little pitching wedge in here. I don't know what that noise was. I don't know if you could hear that on the camera, but there's a really weird noise over there. I had perfect distance there. I just hit it right. I didn't hit it. Oh no. Or actually I did. It was really good speed. I just hit it left. Sorry if this isn't in view of the camera. I have some people behind us, so. Nice. Good par there. Good par after forgetting the golf glove and having to go all the way back to the other hole just to get it. So I'll take that. I was playing 151 or 161. Wind is behind us though. I think we're gonna try and play a little cut into here. Oh, it didn't cut and that's long. Oh my goodness, that's long. <laughs> Holy crap. I honestly should probably putt this. But we have wedge. I don't, I don't, what do I even do here? What do I do? I think I have to like play this, whatever this is. We'll come across the ball. That's good. Holy crap. I mean, five feet. Holy moly, what a chip. All right, let's continue on with this story on why I wanna change my content and what's to come. Recently, I have really, really been enjoying trying to play better golf rounds. And, you know, I started this golf journey really just having fun, wanting to create content. Um, I mean, obviously I've played golf for like 20 years at this point, but I really picked it back up, I should say. And I've just really been enjoying it. However, recently, 
I've, I've kind of found the desire to try and get good at golf again. So, as we make a bogey, okay, I'll take back what I said. I don't want to get good at golf, I quit. Trying to get good at golf again. I wanted to bring back a series that I started when I first started creating content, and that is Road to Scratch in 90 Days. If you don't know what scratch golf is, basically it's where you can come out on a course and you can shoot even par just about anywhere. With scratch golf, you are, what I would say is a very, very good golfer. Let's hit us a good one here. Let's try and hit this green. Wind's a little in the face, so I don't know if we can make it happen. Oh no. I don't know where that's at. I have no idea where that was. I heard it land. It felt good. I thought I hit it right, but it, I heard the noise left. That's, I don't know. We'll try and find this one. 58 yards left. That dog is going crazy. I'm trying a different club here. I'm hitting an approach wedge instead of my sand wedge. That is a beagle going at it, at its best. What a kick towards the hole. I think we have a good look at birdie. You can pretty much shoot even par wherever you're playing at. Now for me, I'm currently sitting around an average of probably, I would say 77 to 79 right now. Yesterday I shot a 77 with five three putts. This Road to Scratch series is going to be mainly me trying to get better at putting. That is the main goal. Um, as I showed a perfect example of that last putt and potentially this one me missing it, but this is uh, the main issue with my golf game. So I think over 90 days, if I can really lock in the putting stroke, we can probably become a scratch golfer. Oh, that was a good roll. I mean, I, I hit that putt exactly how I wanted to. It just broke a little more. Right there was two perfect examples. If I would have just made that three, or yeah, like three footer on the par three, and then if I would have just made that, what, six or seven footer, we would have two strokes less on our golf round already, so. God, that ball was crushed. Today's road to scratch is going to be a little different this time. So last time we only played golf rounds and only really focused on like what I was shooting um, and how I kept up with my golf score. Really. Um, and it was really just keeping up with one round a week, almost what I'm just posting, but I just called it a series. However, this time, it's going to have some of the training in it. So I think I'm gonna make like, hopefully a video a week of simply me just practicing and what I'm working on. Oh. And things I need to work on, like short game like that. I did try something different there. I hit an approach wedge instead of my sand wedge, which is something I typically don't do. Acorn. Oh, but yeah, I think I just think it would be a really cool series just because I'm in a spot where I'm not the best golfer. I'm a decent golfer, but I think I can teach some people things and I think it's just a fun series for me to work on. Not only do I think it's going to be cool just trying to get back to becoming a scratch golfer and then at the end of it, I do believe I want to play in at least one tournament, if not more than that. Oof, not a bad putt. Putt at all. Super excited for this series to come back. It gives me a challenge, it gives me something to go for, and it's just gonna be fun. So if you're new, hit that subscribe button because we're trying to grow the channel. I'd love to hit 5,000 subscribers by the end of this year. That'd be awesome, but 2,500 would be awesome too. So, got a five iron in hand. 
We'll put this one in the fairway. They're just gonna take a smooth swing here. We hit it chunky. We hit it very chunky. I like hit the tee there and it caused my club head to slow down. <laughs> Not the best tee shot. Order a little left. Have a little lie, odd lie here. 151, we're gonna hit nine iron. Honestly, wouldn't mind having eight in my hand right here just because of the lie, but let's see if we can play a little, little draw into this. It's turning over. That could be really good. Nice. Probably 15 feet for birdie. I hope y'all are as excited as I am to start this series again because I think it's just going to be fun. And I'd love to play in some golf tournaments. Who knows, maybe if we got really good, we would get absolutely dominated. But I think it would be really funny. I don't know how much it costs, but just to try and qualify for the U.S. Open and just see what happens. At the end of the 90 days, if we started... <laughs> If we started shooting like one or two under consistently, I think it'd be funny. It'd be a cool video anyways. Imagine if I qualified, that would be hilarious. I ain't qualifying with putts like that though. Golly, let me tell you, my putting stroke is just not good. Oof. Take another par though. In and out with a paw. I lost my pencil in the golf cart, so I can't write down my scores. <laughs> On top of all this series announcements, I also am going to get new golf clubs. And it's finally time to replace my tailor-made burner irons with regular flexes. And then also my Ping, Ping, yeah, Ping G30 driver with an extra stiff shaft that's cut down an inch that doesn't need to be. So then I'm gonna replace it with one of these, a Stealth 2. Although that is left, that still isn't too bad of a shot. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video here simply because, you know, I got the point across. We have a new series coming up. Um, I'm super excited for it simply because it gives me something to, to work on, not only in my golf game, but also creating content. And I think it's just gonna be a blast. So um, anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed. If you do, feel free to like and subscribe and I will see y'all in the next one.